<laughs> that was cool. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Xavier Gone Fishing. In this episode, I'm once again going around our urban ponds trying to catch a local giant. So stay tuned and see what we get into. walked up here I saw a good sized carp right on shore and of course when I grab my rod he is gone so we're just gonna keep cruising and maybe find another and then we'll switch over to bait there are certainly carp over here they are up on the surface as we speak but I have feeding carp under these trees here so I'm gonna go and try and catch them. If I'm gonna be able to reach them, I have no idea. Wow. So guys, I know you can't tell, but on the other side of me, there are a good amount of carp sitting over there. Now unfortunately, I have this ledge and then also this water in between us. So I think what my game plan is going to be is let these fish sort of relax. I'm gonna work my way up this little spillway here and catch them from the bottom. I'd have to say this is one of the most interesting places I've ever walked into to try and catch a carp. And I'll be honest, this water smells atrocious, but there are carp everywhere, so I'm willing to sit here for a couple minutes and wait till a feeding one comes my way. The ironic part is, of course now I'm over here, there are two fish sitting over there feeding their guts out where I could have easily gotten while being dry. That's okay. Alrighty guys, here it goes. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Came up and absolutely hammered it. <laughs> Jeez, that was cool. These guys are feeding so hard in here, and there was only two left, and they were both kind of the smaller size guys. So I said, I quit being picky, and I decided just to cast it. I'm here to catch fish, not catch big fish. And that is a tiny, tiny little guy. Alrighty guys, that was a lot of fun. Not the biggest carp in the world, but had a blast watch him completely inhale that fly. He was aggressive. Again, you know, not the biggest in the world, but I won't complain. That was a lot of fun. In the midst of all that though, look what I have found. Freshwater mussel, clam, whatever you want to call it. I didn't know these existed in Colorado, particularly in a lake setting. So it's kind of an interesting find. You must be a natural lake or they were stocked at some point, but that's a really cool find. Alrighty guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I have changed locations. After I caught that small carp, I quickly did a lap around the pond and realized that it was not gonna be an ideal spot to consistently fly fish or bait fish for that matter. So I decided to drive to a pond that I know was loaded up with carp. These carp in here are not necessarily easy to catch, um, with that being said, I've seen some of the largest common carp in all of Colorado in this pond. So I'm going to give it a couple casts and see what I can do. Um, did not bring the fly rod down just because I know that the shots are really not going to be there. So I'm going to get ready, get baited up. I have carp up 
all up and down this bank right here. And actually I have two right there that I'm gonna try and get some footage for you. All right guys, it's time for me to go set up this other bait ball here. Notice why what I'm doing here, I am not casting. And the reason being is all the carp, I know you guys can't see it, but are sitting right up under these trees. They're either relaxing or feeding off the surface. So in order to spook them a little bit less, I'm not going to cast to keep a lower profile. Okay, now we have to slowly work our way back. All right, guys, I've got a fish on. And luckily, he has gone out to the middle, tied my drag here. And of course, I left my net just a little bit down the bank. So I'm gonna have to do a little fun stuff to get this fish landed. I think we're gonna be all right. All right. That was cool. I was just walking around seeing if there's any carp still under those trees. And I come back and I see this line taut in my reel is just absolutely peeling off line. This is a good sized fish, guys. Ooh, love that sound. I'm gonna give him one extra click on the drag. Cause now he's just kind of sitting there bulldogging. Look at that, just pulling line. Whew. Gotta use a fighting butt. He's tiring my arm out. Nice fish. That's a really good sized fish, guys. Oh my goodness. And he is refusing to come back in. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that fish, guys. That is amazing. Now, just the final part, getting him effectively landed. Because he is not even all that tired. <laughs> that was lucky. I feel like I didn't have him there. Let's go. That is a absolute pond giant. I am stoked on that guy. Alrighty guys, there is the car. He put up a fantastic fight. Gave me a big surprise. It's super cool. In Front Range, Colorado, we have some pond giants and I was lucky enough to tangle with one today. I'm gonna get him back in the net and see how much he wants. Hopefully you guys can see so you don't think I'm a liar. So I'm gonna show you guys, see if you can tell. That is about a 14 pound carp, give or take. That is awesome. 
that was one amazing fish. I fish these ponds for a reason and that a lot of them have unknown giants, whether that's carp, catfish, even bass and some other species. So that was awesome. I can't believe I caught a carp that big today in such a short amount of time. So that is gonna do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please drop a like, a subscribe. Please share it to friends and family. Every little bit counts. I appreciate you all. So I will see you on the next episode of Xavier Gone Fishing.